So when I was first asked to moderate this panel, I got really excited because not only do we have four awesome guys uh, on stage with us here, but they're also building some really great experiences within the Master Chief Collection. Uh, so to start off, Dennis, I'd love to just talk about everything that's packed into this game. Yeah, there's so much here. So, you know, when we started thinking about Master Chief Collection, it's just we wanted the entire Master Chief saga. So you're going to get Halo CE Anniversary, you're going to get Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 4, as well as the, uh, you know, live action digital series executive produced by Ridley Scott called Halo Nightfall. And then lastly, but not, not least, is the Halo 5 Guardians multiplayer beta. So there's a ton of content in here, and we're really excited for it to, to come out this November. Yeah, I think actually we're ready to uh, jump right into things. And uh, Max, I think we have a build of the Master Chief Collection running right now on Xbox One. Can you walk us through some of the philosophy behind the master menu and, and some of the menus themselves? Yeah. Um, Let's go ahead and switch over to that. Let's go ahead and switch it over. And Cool. Get a get a controller over here. Let's get him a controller. Right, Isaac. Right, Isaac. Isaac. <laughs> Do we have audio? Yes. Okay. Magic. We're good. Great. Thank you, Andy. So, I want to talk through uh, some of the ways in which we're bringing in nostalgia as well as a unique look for the unified menu for this particular game. So one of the subtle touches that you'll notice as you browse the menus in the game is you'll get your music cues from each game as you browse Halo 1, Halo 2, and you'll also notice the backgrounds, again, will be sensitive to the game that you're looking at at the particular time that you're moving through the menu there. So again, they change each time. And this is going to be reflected in each part of the game, so campaigns, multiplayer, and something a bit unique for each one. So just a way we're trying to make the experience of browsing the Master Chief Collection really exciting and uh, bring you some of that nostalgia. Now we talked about playlists before. I wanted to talk a little bit about the philosophy behind how we thought about some of these playlists. And specifically, we've talked about cross-game. In this case, though, let's talk about the particular game that we're doing our anniversary treatment for. So Halo 2, here's a sampling of some of the playlists that we're thinking about for this particular game. So in the past, uh, some folks who really love a, a hardcore challenge, they would do things uh, like the Lazo campaign, for example. Now, that's a particular configuration where you've got the game on Legendary, all skulls on, and uh, people know how to set that up. We wanted to curate this and make it something that basically is, is more discoverable for everybody out there, and then also to recognize the achievement uh, associated with doing that. So we're thinking of a number of different ways to reward people for playing through that playlist. There's some other ones on here that are uh, a good example of ways in which we think about it, because we think about these in terms of themes. And so one of the great things about Halo 2, you played as the Arbiter, you played as Master Chief. So we actually have a combination of levels that plays specifically for the Arbiter back to back. Um, that's a new experience because if you remember in the original campaign, you actually were doing them interspersed from one to the next. So uh, that's a pretty cool way to think about it. And the flip side of that, of course, is the Master Chief journey, which, uh, you know, again, it's those particular chief levels back to back. Now, another collection that we have here is fan favorites, just some of the maps that missions that people particularly uh, enjoyed playing on this one. And there's going to be a variety of these types of playlists that call out basically uh, some of the particular highlights of the game. And, uh, great moments in them. Now another key piece to remember for Halo 2 Anniversary is uh, for the first time ever we're going to have online co-op play through this campaign. Uh, so that's, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now I'd also like to speak a little bit to how we think about curating the multiplayer experience. Uh, with 100 multiplayer maps, a lot of great game types available to you. How are you going to find the best of the best? So here's a sampling of uh, some of the multiplayer playlists that we're thinking about. And you're going to see a wide range of content here. Now, one thing I do want to clarify is you notice when I go through these, there are some that are dedicated to each title. So yes, there is one for Halo 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary. <laughs> Uh, 
as well as uh, some cross-game ones. And there's a kind of a few different ways we think about these cross-game ones. So in one particular case, we have a very broad range of content here, right? So Team Slayer, this particular uh, multiplayer playlist has a wide variety of content in it. Nice. Now that's to get back to some of the spirit of what it felt like to be in multiplayer at a time when, you know, while we will have voting, we want to make sure that a lot of those maps that maybe, you know, didn't get as much discoverability back in the day, will bubble them up. And, you know, having four games worth of content there is a great way to really bring that, that vibe back to these playlists. Another thing that we think about is rotational playlists. Uh, so in this particular case, we have a rotation of, you know, some of the best swap maps across these particular games. And you'll notice this particular list is shorter than the other one because, again, these are curated to be specifically the best maps for SWAT across all these different games. So you may be wondering, how exactly, you know, do you, do you have a seamless experience as you go from one of these titles to the next because things have changed over time, right? Dual wielding, uh, <coughs> equipment, loadout, sprint, all these different things. So one of the things that we thought about in unifying this package is our universal control schemes. So we haven't talked about this, and this is something that we wanted to give you a brief demo of, but you can customize your controls for each title, for each option individually, and we have the option uh, for these things to, for example, apply a setting like, let's say, your sensitivity, and with the press of a button, you can apply that setting to every single title in the collection. The other cool thing about this is we have universal control schemes. So here's an example of one for you. And in this particular case, the goal with these is to unify what an action, um, how that action occurs across games. And we did a lot of digging on this, and we really feel like we have a number of control schemes that are going to work across all the games. That said, again, if you really want to get in there and you know, have a custom one for a particular game, you're always welcome to override that. You can have everything uh, customized per title for all these options, uh, however you like. So that's, uh, that's how we think about that. Awesome. Thank you, Max. So something that we mentioned uh, on stage at E3 is the Halo 2 anniversary is, get, excuse me, Halo 2 is getting that full anniversary treatment. And Dennis, I want to talk a little bit about what both in terms of campaign uh, and multiplayer, what that means for Halo 2. Well, when we thought, started thinking, uh, you know, like the anniversary treatment, we really looked back to Halo 1 anniversary and what did we do there? And right off the bat, from a campaign perspective, obviously you just need to remaster the campaign. So we work with Saber Interactive again, who worked on Halo 1 anniversary, and they're completely remastering all the graphics, and, and it looks incredible. Additionally, we also wanted to do some of the other uh, fan favorite things that were like skulls. We added tons of skulls to Halo 2 anniversary. So, yes, that's a all of, the, all of the existing skulls that were there are still there, but then we added a ton. So there's actually over 30 skulls that are available now in Halo 2 Anniversary. Additionally, we really thought about you know, the audio. The audio was completely remastered in Halo 1 Anniversary. We wanted to do that again, and we're doing it in a very big way, and I'm excited to talk more about that at Comic-Con, so get excited, because there's some really cool stuff we're doing on the audio side. Additionally, terminals. Now, terminals in Halo 1 Anniversary we hid them all throughout the game, and then when you'd get to a terminal, you would unlock a video and learn more about the franchise. Well, we're doing a, a lot, you know, a lot of the same thing here, and you're going to be able to, to learn the story, the backstory of the Arbiter. So that's something I think that everyone's going to be really excited. And then also Blur. So in cinematics, you know, telling the, the Halo 2 story is just a, very, a ton, a huge story. <laughs> and there's like over 50 minutes of cinematics. So we contacted Blur Studios, who actually had worked with us before. They, they worked on Halo Wars. So if you're familiar with the Halo Wars cinematics, it, yeah, it, it's pretty incredible. And Blur has been working with us to remaster all of those cinematics. So they're going to look incredible. Um, as far as multiplayer, really, First things first, we had to make sure we included the original multiplayer, something we didn't do with Halo 1 Anniversary, so we definitely made up for that here, and we included the original multiplayer. Yeah. But we knew Halo 2 was so well known for its multiplayer, we wanted to do something different, something unique. And so we contacted Max, uh, Max Overman from there at Certain Affinity, and we asked him for some help. And, you know, our, our major goals were, number one, we really wanted to expand upon that sort of core Halo 2 experience. Um, 
we, we wanted to, to make sure that whatever we created was true to how Halo 2 was back then. And then also we wanted to create the definitive version of each of the remastered maps, as we're remastering six multi, of the most nostalgic multiplayer maps, and we wanted to make sure that we stay true to, the, to how those played and how they feel. And we didn't just want this to be a remake, right? We wanted this to be an upgrade, and that was really important for us. And so I know Certain Affinity and Max especially spent a lot of time making sure that would be the case. Cool, thank you, Dennis. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.